then never imposes any rules, but does it? Hmm. Is that your impression? Yeah. That then imposes rules? What kind of rules? Rules of, of way of, of living, of thinking. Does mm -hmm. not? Zen is the simplest, purest, most direct way of living. Almost living like a plant. Living like the wind and the stones and the animals. So that could be said about many other uh, traditional practices. But uh, <coughs> not at all about Zen. Mm. So uh, you go to a Zen practitioner and ask what rules do you follow. He'll have very few rules to tell you. Maybe he'll say when I sit down for meditation, I face the wall. Or if he has picked up a few practices from here and there, we'll talk about them. But nothing very elaborate. Mm -hmm. How, from where did you pick, pick this idea that Zen involves a bundle of rules? Have you met a practitioner? No, I just uh, went through the book. And, Which book? Uh, what's the green one? Just bring, the, bring, the, bring it in. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's uh, said living by them, which uh, has to mean that there has to be a, a special way, a delicate no, way. Too. In fact, the way of Zen is called a non-way, which means yeah. that we all are already accustomed to living in certain ways. And Zen means that we realize why certain ways attract us. First of all, we see that what we think of as the natural flow of life is in fact a cultivated way. Usually what we call as our natural self is not at all natural. It is borrowed, conditioned, artificial. Zen is about seeing that. And once you have seen that, then very honestly you admit it. And you move on. That's Zen. You see that you have been carrying a baggage, a load. You bow down to the fact. You acknowledge it. And then without trying for correction, you move on. That's Zen. Okay. Yeah. That's Zen. Well, uh, what is the way to, to come to that point? Which is, uh, the point honest honest then, observation. Uh, honest observation, which is in any case happening. Okay. Observation is in any case happening. So then it all boils down to the word honesty. Okay. Zen is all about an inner honesty. Okay. Hmm? Certain disciplines are there, but they are not very elaborate disciplines. In fact, they are also quite practical. Certain teachers build one particular method and promote it. Others raise other methods and advocate them. But uh, the, the essence of Zen is far beyond methods. In fact, the Zen is the final flowering of all religious ascension. Religion or spirituality keeps rising and rising. And its final flowering is the silence of Zen. Zen is what the Upanishads aim that the Buddha hinted at from all of that what you finally get is Zen. If by any chance you have come across a form of Zen mm. that is very ritual oriented or practice centric then you can reject that as not being Zen. Okay. Mm? Yeah, then you can simply say that uh, the practitioner does not know Zen and is misinterpreting it.
Zen is as as simple as this. This is Zen. Mm. This is Zen. Okay.